sign and send it out. I'm so happy. But that's all right. It's too cool. It's fine. Since started, uh, I don't know the minutes. So that's the same reading portion of the meeting. It's from September. Thing around it. Mm -hmm. 
that I don't remember if that was before or after the meeting. I think that was probably after the meeting. So I probably wrote to them to say, hey, we voted to say yes. We're in favor of it, you know, with all the criteria. Yeah. And he was like, hey, did you see that one? I think it looks fine. Yeah. Or if it ever rains really hard, you can hide. Yeah. I'll be shopping. Sorry, I'm still just finishing these. Um, so I'll start with mail that we got. The New Hampshire Association of Conservation Commission annual meeting is Saturday, November 12th. If anyone is interested in going, we have a little flyer about it. Where is the meeting? It is at Pembroke Academy in Pembroke, New Hampshire. Hmm. Where the heck is Pembroke? Okay. Okay. And the theme is Mitigating Present Threats to the Future Forested Landscape. Um, and Tom Wessels will be speaking. Ooh. I don't know, just watching the going for him. Mm-hmm. He's speaking, Tom, Tom Wessels. Wessels. He's written a couple of books, Meeting yeah. the Force of Landscape. Yeah. Meeting the Force of Landscape, yeah. Landscape. Mm-hmm. Yes. So if anyone's interested in going, I'm sure there's a yeah. like, I don't know if there's a registration fee, but I'm sure our, our budget could cover it. Anyone's interested in going? Is anybody I think it's good. I'd be interested if somebody else said. It doesn't say the time. Is that any interest? It's the whole day. I don't know. Like if you go to the website, it does get the website when we get out for the... I assume it's a whole day, but I don't know. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go to the website. On to conservation easements. So I think we all saw Pam's letter in the email and it looked for it. I think we just need to add individual addresses and I can have send it to the town office and have them mail them out. Oh, okay. Which I think would be the easiest way to do it. Thank so you. is it going to be coming from the town or is it going to be coming from the individuals? I would assume the town, ta- I would picture it coming from the, the town. Mm-hmm. And I would say like Jackson Conservation Commission as the return address with the town address, okay. which is what I use as our mailing address. Okay. Thinking from past tradition, I don't receive any mail for the uh, my post office box. It all comes to the town office. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I picture going out like from, uh, and then we can then I'll, I'll electronically sign it and have them print it out. So that'll be like my signature, and then list the perhaps the individual's name that will be contacted. I don't know. I guess that'd be a question. Do you want with the form letters? Do we want the individual? Who's monitoring the property to sign it and have their contact information in it, or just have me sign it? I think it would be easier if it's just saying someone will contact you, because that way if we need to switch or it's less, I don't know if you think about it. Okay, great. Um, it would be helpful to me if you guys could provide the addresses to me, because I don't know. There's your P.O. box you were asking about. Yeah, 268. If you guys could provide the addresses, and we could always try to end early and go to the maps mm-hmm. and get the addresses, yeah, the mailing addresses. Mm-hmm. So we were talking about this earlier. Um, the Wildcat Trust is um, that property is an easement. Is it easement? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, a couple hundred acre. Yeah. So it's like two hundred fourteen acres. Yeah. Yeah, that's an easement. And um, would we go to the tax records department? We could probably go right out here. No, I don't. I don't. Let's we'll see. Well, it said Wildcat Trust, so it didn't say the property was easement. Yeah. 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 That would be it. Right? Yeah. So you have, to go, address you have to go to the town and get more specific address. Yeah. Uh, there should be. Is it there? You already got the book from that. You got it from the book? Yeah. It's the blue and the black one. Go map. onto the tax map and we'll Yeah. It'll give you mailing addresses. Okay. Right. Yep. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And it'll we'll probably give you the full name. Yeah. Great. And so that's all information that we need eventually, too, not only for our records, but for the for filling out SPINIFS forms. So I think if we update that spreadsheet mm-hmm. with the the trust you know the trust name, land owner, or contact person's name, mm-hmm. trustee probably, um, and then a mailing address and a phone number eventually if we could get one. And then on that we have a letter from Spinner for reminding us to do all of these for those five properties that <coughs> excuse me in which they have the executory interest. We treat two of them kind of I think as the one there's. The Highland Farm Trust, and then there's like the Burgess slash Highland Trust, yeah, it's which we think we we count as the same. Two different two different farms. Yeah, yeah. Two different farms. But. I don't remember one. 
for two. Oh, that's ten. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's oh, it's it's one. Of, it's yeah. two properties. One yeah. Yeah. So yeah. We kind of look at it as one property, but we can we get assessed twice, two different ways. Yeah. And they ask us to go online and fill it out again, um, so I can pass around the instructions. The instructions. <laughs> um, I get, yeah. Or I can email them to you. Also, I'll email and see if you would. Yeah. And then it will break and say you don't have to make copies and yeah. all that yeah. stuff. Sounds good. And they send that one. We we said it does. Self-imposed deadline. Yeah. Our self-imposed deadline is November. We need to do it by the end of the year. Right. So, if we can do it before the term is going to be able to go over if they go in the winter, that would be very good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think we need to get the letter out now. Yeah, get the letter out ASAP because yeah. the attorneys were very receptive to us walking their boundaries, but whoever takes care of their place and whoever was not. I would assume they'll be here for foliage when they hold. Yes. Um, and Spinach reminds us they actually gave us more instruction than they have in past years. In past years, I feel like it's been like, do it. Mm -hmm. But this year they encourage us to do more than just take a nice walk around the property. What else do they want us to do? Uh, their criteria of their own stewards, which we are acting kind of in their place, um, is to actually talk to somebody in person, discuss future plans, um, answer any questions that they might have about the easement, try to actually review the terms of the easement. Okay. Um, I don't know how we would find the term. The well, if you can say, I mean, is there a legal document somewhere here? I would presume there must be. I think they're probably in the filing cabinet. They're probably, yeah, I mean, we do have a filing cabinet with all the easements. Okay. Some of which I know we have. Well, you know, yeah, I have, have a you know, legal description of, I think, in the past. Yeah. There was, like, I was going to have a phone there. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Right. We could go through and pull out the individual ones. And they recommend well, trying to walk some of the boundaries and go to areas that have high potential human use um, or exceptional conservation value on the individual easements rather than you know just kind of a superficial look, which I don't know, like in Tilney's you can see the whole property from the road. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. Which, um, anyway. We looked on the side of the river. We didn't go up on the ridge. I guess it extends it's on the side of the road. Yeah. 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 Pretty yeah. kind of a steep, ledgy side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's marked. They encourage us to do our job. We can do it alone. And I think that's it for conservation sense. I have something and to share. Um, I ran into Bree from Ski Boring in the post office on Friday, and she wanted me to let everybody know that they have, a, I think she said it was a 120 acre parcel of land, kind of like by the Ellis River Trail ski trail, um, that they're in the process of putting into an easement with, I think, an RCS is who she said. Um, and they have a couple other things to like papers to file and a few more hoops to go through, but it's well in the works and should be done in less than the next few months. You can see they we marked the boundaries and they were over there, staked and put in some hmm. permanent markings. Is that adjacent to the land they own? I wonder. Is that the one? If it's, I wonder if that property is adjacent to the land that they own outright over there. Oh, um, I don't. Well, I don't know. I don't know because the, the Forest Service boundary. Because they own when you first get on it, when you go past the water treatment plant, I believe that part is they own. No, it's Gino, and then, and then, then it's theirs, and, and then eventually you get to the Forest Service. Right, and it's, you know, right after the, the warming hut is Forest Service, I believe. Sure. Anyway, I don't know that's bad. I encourage everybody to conserve more land, especially those of high recreation or ecological value. How many acres did you say? It was one twenty seven. One hundred and twenty, she said. But I could be I could have mixed the numbers up. We have another hundred and twenty acres for sale at some point. I said there's a big chunk for sale in our house that we would love to see someone mm -hmm. uh, yeah, buy in our house. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, prospect Farm and Tour Designs. Would you like to explain your um, things up to date? Well, we have a copy of our draft. I don't know if you would want to like, read it. Maybe. Or maybe. I have kind of forgotten what we thought was the, the overall thing, so maybe start with a 
okay. the overall picture and like whether there's going to be so some we made changes on Friday. We started knocking off. Yes. Off the list. Okay. We actually have a lot of things to share. Great. Um, first of all, the summer rules that are all on the map up at the end of the road, Garland, Johnson, Baker, and Hall, where did those original names come from? Those of you who've been on the commission for longer, do you remember? Uh, I think they've always, I mean, that's they have been picked before I, I mean, identified before I got on the commission. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have been called that for the last yeah. 20 plus years. I thought that, that George had <laughs> did that other write up that went with the new kiosk when it was installed. Yeah, it was Dexter. So George said he didn't know. He talked to Alice Pepper. Mm -hmm. She thought it came from. She said it came from somebody on the commission. I talked to Phil Davies. Phil, Phil might know. Huh? And George had the assignment of writing descriptions for each of those cellar walls, and he's been combing through his various historical documents about town, and he can't find some of these names anywhere. He did a write up on the Johnson cellar wall for tonight. <laughs> Um, Which I think is his own name for, right? Yeah, because he can't find Garland or Hall. Hmm. And I kind of think he couldn't find Baker either. No, but obviously. Well, because there's a yeah. 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 So maybe she maybe he had Baker. Yeah, maybe, maybe he had Baker. But anyway, he hmm. didn't know where. It's not the Alice Pepper's place. Okay. She said she didn't know. He asked her the other day, and she said she had no idea that it came from someone who was on the commission when we made the map. When we made the map? Those names were laid before I made the map. Oh, because they were on there. When we, whenever, whenever, that, whenever, 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 that, whenever, 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 that map, they showed up, and the names were like, everyone was like, this is their names, this is where they are. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when we had the map reprinted three years, whatever that was, three years ago, oh, yeah. those names came from the old map. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did the schools have anything to do with that? Yeah, I mean, Dexter and the school. That's what I thought Dexter had a lot to do with that, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, he did, but I'm trying to think here. I thought the Phil Phil was pretty good with those things. He, he followed a lot of stuff for a lot of years. Yeah. Well, so in light of maybe not having a ton of information about all of those, our cellar hole descriptions may get pared down. And then we decided to do a sign at Hell's Ledge, a sign at the big field right before um, you get to down to the picnic table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, right before you walk down to the picnic table. The so orchard and then maybe an additional one about logging that we don't have on here yet. Um, Mike's point was that minimal might be better given that the landscape will change. So what we write may not always be relevant. Um, and also because it also means more to maintain yeah. and like when they start to fall in disrepair it looks, it just looks bad and yeah. comes just trash in the woods did you I mean, was there any I don't know how to I guess my question is we originally talked about it with, with George's idea of telling the story of like the settling and abandonment of the hill farms of the east coast is there a, a way to carry that theme through these individual things without having like a big opening statement at the current kiosk or is that theme too much to display in like little Did you have a little brochure that you put there or like well, is there like a well the these do you picture these things are being on a map or just kind of stand alone? I mean I guess I pictured each little blip to be like standalone mm -hmm. at yeah. on site. Mm -hmm. Um but maybe at some point when we redo the map. You could the yeah, the one that's gonna go on the that kiosk you could, you could put you know the, yeah, the kiosk you could also identify where each sign is. Yeah, because there's gonna be like a bullet facts yeah. that George wrote when that sign was yeah. made. I think mean, the question's getting more to should there be a common thread yes. throughout them versus it's all the signs. Yes, yes. Because yeah. right now they're just kind of yeah, it's a story, the story of prospect from yeah. yeah, I thought it was going to be more of the seven holes and not. I mean, I think it really matters, but the feel yeah. that look. Well, I think those things are all beaten all of them. You know, yeah. so it's like if you talk about have a seven hole one, you can say like, yes, who lived there, but like focus on like when well, the site all when it was abandoned and what they might have been doing, and then when you get to the apple, when we get to the apple orchard, it can be like this is an apple orchard, but you know, it was not, mm -hmm. you know. 150 years ago, and probably been in there, you know, whatever, tied to that theme of yeah, seven, 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 se
you know, I haven't actually read it. But I mean, I just, yeah, they're not connected like that. Okay. But it would be easy enough to do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other thought was, how do you guys feel about calling it historic prospect farm? That was a suggestion of George's. To, I mean, I guess, I don't know if that's like a straight up renaming to start calling it historic prospect farm, but I think probably what he's getting at is trying to. Well, it has a little more weight to it. We yeah. Do understand that it does. Meaning for the purpose of the tour, or like we will forever refer to that as a kind of nice enjoyable prospect farm. I think it's already gone. I think I wish some alarm in your way. I think it's just a prospect farm, but right? there's no reason you can't put historic in somewhere at the beginning and turn it and then at the end. Yes, I think we should call it prospect farm. Prospect farm, farm, period. But yeah, in fact, I'm thinking yeah. <laughs> prospect, the more we're talking. Yeah. Because the description is going to have, when we talk about this, it's going to have a description of why Prospect Farm was there. This was, you know, one of the original areas of Jackson, you know, yeah. et cetera, blah, blah, blah. So, you don't need to have a story if all that's described in your writer. I think the best thing I would add is something that I need to review these because it sounds like we're going to change them. Okay. No, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that makes anymore, but maybe right now they're just all standalone. Yes. So I don't think we would need to look at them now. Um, another idea that, that George had is for every sign, let me draw a big version of it. I like this idea. Oh, I like this idea too. Um, for every trail sign that we have up there, well, if you go up there, uh, some of the ski touring signs have a paw, um, which means dog yeah, friendly cool. trails, mm -hmm. but in the same way that they have the paw, if there was the image of the Baker House on every sign mm -hmm. as a unifying element mm -hmm. so that you would know like these are the trails mm -hmm. of Prospect Farm. Mm -hmm. So it would be like the UST or yeah. the Hall Hall right. Village or whatever. Um, and I guess Dave, I forget his last name, he is, his dog is a chocolate lab. I know that much. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. He okay. does, <laughs> he, he does like engraving or etchings mm -hmm. or something. And um, George thought that he could take the image of the Baker House and put it on all of the signs That's that cool. we put up there, which might be kind of neat. So these would be our Twitter signs or trail signs? Um, maybe both. Yeah. Yeah, for so sure. For way. sure, the trail signs, and then I don't know if there would be space in the interpretive signs, or maybe it could be like the background of the interpretive sign. Or the prospect from branding. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, place. We got a problem. Let's the signs. Are you picturing the similar signs? I was, I had my head on. It's like the same way, buddy. Yeah, I was kind of, I guess, I had the whole time been picturing the same 8x8 signs we have out there and used the same border so that we would have the same border at there, the falls, and Prospect Farm, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. which currently has the Jackson Town logo mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. center top of it, but we could replace it potentially with like a Prospect Farm specific I logo. I mean, I think the Jackson Town logo would be fine too. Yeah. It looks good. It looks pretty good. I like the idea of having it as the background. Like as a watermark? Yeah, exactly. The Baker House. Mm -hmm. On the interpretive signs or on the trail signs? Any of them. Mm -hmm. All yeah. signs. Yeah. Interpretive signs. Great. On the subject. Are we going more into the watermark? I mean, we could get in. Let's yeah. make, get to the point of having the yeah. proofs. proofs from yeah. the printer. It's yeah. a picture of the same, like, the same material, the same 8 by 8 the same logo. With watermark and without yeah. watermark. Yeah. Okay. And then we can either choose to mount them to trees or put posts in the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I emailed Bree today to just kind of tell her that we were working on all of this and ask her if Jackson Ski Touring has any input on what they would like to see happen up there. Also, I told her about the culvert that's out of place on the quail trail. And then George was wondering, they've been mowing up there recently. I assumed that it was that it was ski touring. He thought maybe it was the Forest Service. Um, but his idea was if they're up there mowing for their ski trails or the Forest Service is mowing to maintain their their roads, why would they not mow the cellar holes and the orchard for us if 
Uh, sure. I, mean, I think we just we have to pay and yeah. and choose to switch to the Davis to Yeah, I bet confused. Or would they do it as a favor because we're letting them use the land? I feel like that is out of our hands. Because it's the town that's the South Board is the ones that negotiated the Yeah, all the money goes to the right name to them. But I do think we yeah. I mean it conceivably we could all collectively save mm-hmm. money by so there are three people doing a different... The Forest Service doesn't typically know that. Okay. I mean, they might do Do you know what roads they do maintain up there? The Forest Service? Okay. Anything outside of our... Yeah. Our you can call us all that stuff. Tested. I do know that the Forest Service has all of the roads, like their trails, are, have different schedules or... Yeah. Roads, and they maintain, like, the main hall roads with or without... Logging and the rest are only maintained as logging. Mm-hmm. Cut back greatly mm-hmm. on, on that maintenance as well. Mm-hmm. So it's possible they're not maintaining the main hall roads. Um, but currently, like they're, they were greatly upgraded the last time they were logged on the Forest Service property. Mm-hmm. And to my knowledge, the town has done zero and put zero money into those roads, and they've all been improved as part of any logging that occurs. So, like when the town logged our land. The f- whoever had the logging would have had to improve the access roads for there and leave them in the same condition. And I believe, I mean, I don't know the details of the, the town has an agreement with the Forest Service that allows them to access their land through our town mm-hmm. land, and that specifies who does what to the roads. Mm-hmm. Right. So that is also to a certain degree outside of... And that's how we got that updated and all the new culverts, because it used to be yeah. a low point, and they raised it up and put all those culverts in. And kind of reground it and... And then they're cutting like up by the mm-hmm. orchard into the right and then out the quail trail. Mm-hmm. And even out the other way. We talked about clearing out around Paul's Ledge at all, because that really is overgrown. Yeah, it has grown in substantially. Yeah. Really, like I said last time, if you, it used to be a cheap view of the valley, and now you sort of got to fight your way through the underbrush to, to even know that there's a Hall's Ledge there. I don't know. I guess the way I know it now is the only way I've ever known it. I remember years and years ago, I'm not talking when I was on the Conservation Commission, I mean when you know, I used to come up here in the 80s, 90s before I lived up here, that you could walk right out there. You used to you know where the was? And Mount Washington was at your feet. Mm-hmm. It's definitely right in. Mm-hmm. More. Is there an actual ledge there? Yeah, yeah. At those, I just went over the ledge. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's like it extends to where it's got a good down to south. It's on south woods now. And yeah, it's just overgrown completely. I mean, I don't mean it, if we want to keep it in it, I suppose it should be on our every three year, five year location. Yeah. Like, opening is, is, of, is mode. Yeah. You know, like last, last year. This is more than mode. Yeah, I mean. But I mean, like, what is there that provides the current view is maintained? Mm-hmm. So that's like a status quo. Mm-hmm. Like to like go back to, the, I don't know what that is. It would be, a, I think, a different question. But it is the current view is maintained as is with the, with what Rick does yeah. is up there. And someone goes up and drops off the tops of something. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what it is, but it, it does happen. <laughs> yeah. I've been up there several times and been like. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All these trees in the middle. Yeah, it's, it's a level. Christmas tree. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, to the question of signs for Jackson, I mean, yeah, Jackson signs for Prospect Farm. I think it's a good idea to have standards. I guess, I don't know if we want to talk about them now in a video, like what a Jackson sign would be. What do you what do you mean a Jackson sign? Just okay. like at all the various properties? Uh, like, I guess my example that I know the best is the Forest Service. Yeah, so so there is you know the Forest Service very much describes like all signs in the forest have like a certain look. You know they have the name of the trail with an underline. The name of the land owning group is in one corner. The name of the trail maintaining group is in another corner. They only allow up to three lines underneath the name with mileage and arrows, you know, describing what goes where. And it's like, you know, even to the point of like, you will use this router bit and this size letter and that kind of thing. So it's very prescribed as to like what it can look like. And everyone has to follow those standards throughout the forest. You know, as to paint colors and all of that, they allow the different clubs to kind of have their own paint colors. So I think my question would be, or I would recommend that we kind of adopt our own for our land. Mm -hmm. That would be standardized and encourage ski touring to 
they, they may want to standardize theirs to kind of like, you know, maintain theirs to their standard and maybe push them in a certain direction if they wanted to. You know, whether it's not, it's like having the, the logo in one corner or like adopting more of that Florida service look with like the underlying name and like a, I don't know, a JCC or a whatever for the different names if we wanted to get into putting trail signs up. Um, so I guess my question would be, do we want to go for like a kind of a national forest look that matches theirs? So we really don't have to do many hiking signs on our property. Really the only one is the Hall's Ledge Trail, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Back. which the Forest Service theoretically is still putting up the trailhead sign, which hasn't occurred yet this season. And then we would only need the little indicator signs to Hall's Ledge. Um, and then whatever we want to do, maybe adding to what Jackson puts out for the cross-country trails, since we use them as um, hiking trails. Mm -hmm. Where are they going to put the Hall's Ledge sign? It was I'm on the same sign. Parking lot or sign is the. You know where the Bob Brook Trail sign is? Yeah. They would go underneath it and it would say Hall's Ledge Trail and point towards the kiosk. And it would have, it was going to have two lines underneath it. Um, one of them would have been one point, whatever it is, to the viewpoint, and then whatever the total mileage is to Route 16. Mm -hmm. Maybe if, yeah. I mean, if you walked, if you parked there and there was an ad that said Hall's Ledge that way, and you'd walk back. You'd kind of look down the camp gap, and you'd kind of look up the road, and say, I guess I'm going to go that way. And then after that, it is... Yeah. And then yeah. It needs to be another sign by the orchard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, you know, keep you out, keep you out. Yeah. yeah. So it would be always one sign. You can't even see the one that's there right now. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The one the right over there, where it turns left. Yeah, but um, it's like on a tree, mm -hmm. I think, on the left corner, like mm -hmm. the trail goes up and the orchard's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like blocked by branches mm -hmm. now, so you can't even see it currently. So I would suggest move where you to the other side. Yeah, we'll just clear a few branches out too. Mm -hmm. yeah. And just to get back to McMillan at Prospect, it seems like it might be worth at least asking Skin Tower. Mm. What? Yeah. So if it is a valid number, that they're like, yeah, we went the machine and we all up here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been like 1500 dollars, yeah. which is most of our budget. Right. Mm -hmm. All the towns actually. Because I don't know. Because I don't know. It used to come up our budget. Yeah. Well, I'll report back when I hear back from her. Yeah, we can ask. I mean, mm -hmm. they definitely mowed it differently. Like, there was no hand mowing. It looks like they just did it with a, some kind of riding machine, mm -hmm. you know? I'm sure they brush it anyway. So has, we it, could, um, has it been loaded? Yeah. Yeah. Jackson has maintained the cross country trails that cross town property. Mm -hmm. um, but Rick I hasn't mean, been up to yeah. like the cellar holes. Yeah. 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 Or at least of, as of this weekend. Okay. Just saw him today. Sometimes they mow for the town of Bartlett, like the water precinct yeah. and it stuff. It should happen soon. He said he was going to do it at the end of September or early October. So yeah. it's probably going to happen soon. Mm -hmm. Seemed to know what he was mowing up there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm all in favor, or uh, I'm all for the sign, the Jackson sign. Whatever, I have no preference on what it looks like. Okay. Whatever everyone wants to make it uniform is fine. Yeah, I, I like the Forest Service signs. Mm -hmm. I think we just have to be careful if we're if we're trying to make the trail be different. But, and again, I mean, the sign is meant to be read, so it's your responsibility when you see the sign to read it. And would, they, would it have JCC on, on? I mean, we could choose to do that or not do that. Sure. You know, I guess that would be the question. It would be, yeah. So the question is, what do we want to have on our signs? Yeah. Yeah. And I think one, one thing I would like to ask ski touring is as they maintain them, to move them all onto one tree or maybe even start installing posts. Because I think one of the confusing things is that the signs are scattered at each yeah, intersection. Right. And another standard is to have all the signs on one post at an intersection. So yeah, that would be nice. Well, they don't take down a sign when they replace it. So you'll have, like, the oldest sign. <laughs> yeah. Then, which is sometimes cool There's a you see the old, yeah. you know, There's the old Marsh Camp Get one up there. Yeah. yeah. There's I a couple Marshbrook ones that are tucked yeah. away that are about this big. You can hardly even read them. Yeah, so I guess... Um, how do we think about our signs looking like Forest Service signs or do we want to go for simpler without the title because I don't know that we have any to actually title maybe it would be easier because you know, really all we need to make at this point are ones that would say a sentence or two on it we just say Hall's Hall Ledge with an arrow yeah. right? do, we, well, do we want to talk to 
if we go in that direction, we want to talk to ski touring first and have it be, you know, instead of us putting signs up and then them having their signs next to it, consolidating. So yes. like you said, yeah, it's one. Yeah. So rather than rather than us being all the time designing a sign and then ski train saying like, no, now you have to have, now we need to have multiple signs because we have to have this kind of sign or whatever. Yeah. And if we're trying to make it the same everywhere, how does the Baker House logo then fit in? Because we wouldn't put that on signs like at Gray's Inn yeah. or at the Falls. It can be to one side. It can, yeah. yeah, it can work if it's just on, like, if it's like a watermark on that one. Right. Or if it's like, a, yeah. a different looking barn for the something from place else. And the yeah, big Baker. question mark for the mystery house. Like, yeah, big like, <laughs> question mark watermark. Look <laughs> back. Who knows? And then we'll work on these some more. To yeah, we should, we should, yeah. 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 Okay. I like the one about, I like the ecology. It's, it's like, we, 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 uh, we, we talked about this and we just didn't do it. I'm not yeah, sure. We, we said that nothing else, so we talked about well, the kind of economy. And, and, and yes. then we didn't do that. So <laughs> we'll go back and do it. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, which one? What did you say? Uh, I like the little bits of ecology thrown in. The Hall's Ledge one? Hall's Ledge, Apple Orchard. Oh, and we need to make a view guide for the outlet to feel that look. Yeah. Is that. I guess I need to think. Added that, so I need help. I, I guess I need to think about that view again. I think of that view as the Saco River Valley. Is that the Wildcat River Valley? When you're looking, you're at looking over, yeah, Black Mountain, aren't you? Yeah, you're looking at Black and Spruce. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, for some reason, I was thinking you were looking from that big field. I thought you were looking well, you, towards like Thorn Hill, and you can, you can. I mean, you can call it that because you can see North Conway. Right. Yeah, yeah, you can. And the most, the side and the most. Yeah. yeah. So I guess I think it's I, the Wildcat I think River Valley. Valley is the Smaller. Is the tributary to the Saco, yeah. yeah. I just think, I mean, I just think whenever I see like the, you yeah. know, Thorn Hill or, you know, Green Hills and then Moat on the other side, I think like Saco repair. Yeah. Like, and then I just call it the Mount Washington Valley. <laughs> the Eastern Slope Valley. Eastern Slope Valley. <laughs> I can work on the outlook. Since I took pictures of it, so I can try to hand draw it. Oh, yeah. right. How that goes onto a little 8x8 eight eight thing. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it needs to be different. That one might need to be bigger. Yeah, yeah, like a panorama one, like a road side. Yeah. Just wrap it in. Like a rest stop. <laughs> like the big one. Yeah, that would be cool. I like the ones that you've got on top of Jackie Cap, the one that has like the, it's like the big circular. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for doing that. I would just get the big VR goggles and you put them on. <laughs> <laughs> you look at it. The names pop up in the air hose. Like 3D. Yeah. All right. On to Jackson Falls. Okay. Were you able to get any estimates? I uh, yeah, there were estimates. I got phone calls back, right. but no one gave an actual number. All right. Me either. So we're waiting to get estimates on companies that could install this, whatever it was, four I only called landscape yeah. companies. I didn't, I, and I gave it two names for TDK and uh, Is that Good Neighbor. Good Neighbor. neighbor. I didn't call those two. Okay. I just called landscape companies that I know okay. would, would install a fence. Which ones did you call them? Uh, Chandler and uh, uh, Eastern Greens. Okay. I might try to call Rod and Rock too if someone is giving me. Yeah. Right. All right. Rotten Rock? Rotten Rock? Yeah. The name of the business? Yeah. 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 It's Todd Crane. It's a pretty slick truck. I've seen it on the truck. They've got a lot of trucks, yeah. So it must be doing that. All right. So I can call the. I'll try to call those other two too. Jackson Company. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sounds good. We're doing all right. 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 We're doing all and I guess at this point, we'll pro- I imagine those estimates might be more for the spring than before the frost comes, but I don't know. Well, you never know. At this rate, yeah. we may not hit the frost for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. Yeah. So we can find out if people are willing to do it or not this time of year. <coughs> and whether, yeah, and whether we buy the materials or they do it. Is there a vague idea of what 400 feet of that fence is? I mean, a vague idea? Uh, it can't be cheap. No. It's, uh, oh gosh, I got no, Lucy's. No, I got prices from Lucy, which probably isn't. Maybe the cheapest. Right, right it's not. It was. You both liked it at one point, but I'm yeah, yeah, I'm trying to remember. It's kind of like. Eighty dollars per. Roughly. Ten like, foot section. Right. Because it's like exactly. twenty. Good lord. I want to say it's like roughly twenty per post, and then I don't know. Call it twenty per rail, also. 
So like a 10 foot, the starter section at the very least would be, that would be 80 bucks. And then each section after that would be 60. Right. So that's just the materials, never mind. The installation. The installation. Mm-hmm. Which is kind of, I think maybe, well. Well, that's where the well, box, that's that's where the box are going to be in the installation. Yeah. And then what? Who did, and we, we, who did it at the school? I don't know. Yeah. You know who put the fence in the um, school? Maintenance guy, John Stokey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He did a good job. He did. Cool. John. He did do a good job. So you want to go dig in a rocky spot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. He used, uh, I think he just rented the fence hall digger from Lucy's. Yeah. But that's all been backfilled, and that's a whole different ball game. Like, that's been, the worst rocks have been taken out. And mm-hmm. This is going to be rocks. Mm-hmm. Right. And I think that's all I have for the falls, is to continue that. I do still have the signs we got printed earlier in the summer that we could put up. Uh, the welcome, we've got more of those <coughs> Jackson Falls uh, signs. You saw what you mean, we couldn't get that done before the snow flies, but... Yeah. I know, I guess it would be silly to rush that. Well, good, I mean, if they have the time. And, and the, the money, money comes from... And the money would, I think, I would like to see the money come from the trustees of trusts for the Wildcat River improvement one, whatever that's right, called. Right, because it's on the... Because it's in the, I, on that the exact spot where it's, yeah. the money's supposed to be used. I don't know how we ask for that money. I assume the selectmen, uh, I don't think the commission can ask for it. I think you need to go to the, uh, and get the uh, selectmen to ask for it. And uh, that's really right to the trustees of the trust fund. And, um, you probably have to have a quote, a written quote, in order to. Mm-hmm. Well, you actually, at the end of the day, you've got to give them a, re- a, a, a receipt, an invoice for what was done. Oh. You can't just do the written quote. So we have to front it first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do we have any money left in our budget for this year? <laughs> Not to install a fence like that. Yeah. We could add yeah, like the the money market. Well, Four thousand dollars. We we might be able to. More than that, isn't it? Um, we might be able to out of our money market fund. In fact, it may even be a town meeting thing because a lot of these warrant articles um, to vote whether the town will uh, spend blah, blah, blah to be taken from general taxes, to be taken from the Baker Trust, you know, wherever. And that's that usually appears in the warrant articles on the... Uh, I can ask. I thought the trustees, for some reason, had the authority to expend the money in the trusts if it's they don't expend expected. it. The well, I mean, select and expend it, yeah. and they have the authority to approve or you know to make sure it has to um, meet the purpose of what the trust, the language of the trust. You know, if the trust says to maintain. Uh, you know, it's just got to it's just got to fit what the trust was set up to do, mm-hmm. and that's what they do. They make sure that that it doesn't get used for something else. Because I remember when I was a trustee of the trust funds, we had, the, the, they came and said, hey, can we use this money for an ambulance instead of, or a police car instead of an ambulance? And we looked at the trust and said, this trust, and, and a lot of the trusts are set up by warrant article. For example, you know, the, it, that appears in the town meetings to uh, open a new trust for a fire truck. And basically it's capital reserve that builds up over a couple of years. So when you buy a new fire truck and you, you got the 180,000 bucks, rather than all at once, you, you have to, oh, next year we're gonna raise taxes 30% because we need a fire truck. Mm-hmm. And that goes into a warrant article to, mm-hmm. to get the ball rolling. Well, what if we um, did like a portion of it this year? And then, well, you know, got that, and we have the money to do it, and then... Um, I mean, we probably have the money to do all of it. In the the what, what are they really, the, the one fund that we don't mm-hmm. control, yeah, the like one that's the change of use tax fund. But I would prefer not to spend that if there is a trust that is specifically to do improvements. But how are we going to pay for it and then get the money back? Well, well, yeah. well, basically, you get the work done, and hopefully that they'll. Well, pay again, for the select one will request answer. the money, and they'll pay the invoice because the trustees of the trust fund. Don't they reimburse the town? Mm-hmm. Is is what's done. Okay. So the money comes out of the trust and goes to the town, and the selectmen vote on it. If you've been to the selectmen's meeting, they'll they'll vote to hey request the money. Here's it. We got the invoice paid, 
and then get the money from the trustees. And I imagine there's got to be a little bit of like, you'll probably get this, and I can't imagine that everything is blind, where you like go in like, I have no idea, like, right? I mean, I imagine we could talk to me like, does this sound like something that you right, yeah, probably right. okay? Yeah. Right, and I can't imagine that they'll say. We can't do it. Right. <laughs> 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 I mean, I have no idea, but I imagine, right? I mean, yeah. would they would like be like, yeah, advise you. Advise you in one direction right. or the other. Yeah, please don't do not do this and expect to get it. Right, or don't do this now because we already yeah. are taking care of this. You could do it. Great. We'll keep chasing estimates for the fence. And what about the, um, the no parking signs? Can those be done? Yes. And those I have to email Pat. And yeah, parking signs on the map we came up with last time. Right. The Valley Cross, maybe. The Valley Cross. Yeah. That's what I meant when I did that. I meant I was yeah. saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 with you. Cross. You're taking the turn. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. So what, whatever became of the porta potty thing? We said we would be okay with a porta potty at the mm-hmm. falls. Uh, kind of in the the selectmen said they have a a plan in place to pay for them and maintain them and all of that. And they're gonna do a like a box around it. Yeah, that, I think that's a good idea. To put, I, this was a good idea if they would have pointed the opening. Yeah, they could have in a different direction. direction. I mean, that's like not having a box when you come across the falls. Yeah. Oh, there's a porta potty. <laughs> You could put, if they put the box around it and face it, I've been saying, toward the library, right. and you put the universal symbol of a, of a toilet right. on the side facing and, the road. Yes, yeah. and that's your point. That's your point. I mean, that's, 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 that's like, like, you might as well not have the enclosure. I thought the was for the for a school bus pickup. On the other side, it does look like a bus stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I saw that, and I was like, wow. Well, the thing, the thing has to be unloaded off the back of a truck on a hydraulic lift. Yeah. yeah, but they you just be able to back up to it. Driveway is rather big. Yeah, yeah. Well, they could they could back it at an angle. Yeah. So I, I don't, it's not clear to me whether we would uh, the town would want to build one of those up at the falls. I kind of thought it would be hidden enough that you wouldn't necessarily need it. But, but again, if you were going to put it in, if you're going to build a thing around it and just point them out toward uh, <laughs> the road, toward Carter the Road, yeah, take the Valiant's house. I mean. Psyched. Don't even bother building anything. That's what I said about this. Why did they even bother putting a building right. around this? Exactly. So it wouldn't blow over. I think well, that must be. Tipping, right. tipping from three sides. <laughs> I have no tipping. Yeah, but again, your first impression coming into the town is yeah, a little weird. It is a good point because one of the sides it's covered is coming from this parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just, just, just yeah, uh, ninety uh, degrees, it's ninety it's degrees right. Right. to the left, and the problem, you know, it looks fine. It, it almost feels better as a user of it too. They have like four <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> less, that's less, true. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I think it's sitting. I think it's oh, just yeah. sitting on. Maybe we can just plug her. Yeah. We'll do that as a project. Next, put it in for the next, put it in for the next meeting. No more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Tom, you are alone. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Um, but yeah, I guess the question would be whether we wanted to have a similar thing in the falls or not, which I'm fine either way. I don't have to Yeah, I mean, as long as it's not blue, even yeah. if it's... Yeah, I, mean, I think the box looks nice. Yeah, they build the box. Yeah, the box is a good idea. You point it <laughs> in the right direction, though. Do we do we, would we have any say about where it goes? Do you think? I there was talk of initially Valley Cross right up where that no truck sign yeah. is. Yeah. But then maybe people thought that nobody would see it up there, and then maybe they would put it near the handicap spot. Right? So the, well, all you need is arrows. You know, all you need is the, again, the symbol of a toilet with the arrows. They do that in a lot of places. You know, even uh, I think the, the mall, uh, what am I thinking of? Settlers Green. You know, in fact, everywhere. You'll see right. outside sure. public restrooms or, you know, with an arrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so when I wrote back to the site, to Bob, I said those are the two spots we've been thinking mm-hmm. about. That would be the, the most user friendly and easiest to access. Yeah. I think if you not put be it immediately right in the parking lot. Yeah, I think if you put it further away from Crossroad too, you might get less people that are just driving by who might think, oh, I know, you know, the yeah. bathroom facility. <laughs> Whereas if it's tucked in on yeah, the corner, you might just be like, oh, I have to go to the bathroom, which is why it's there. But <laughs> yeah, because we're thinking it would go great where the uh, those stones are put, so you couldn't park there. Well, it's not going to further blocking the parking. It's not going to go great anywhere. But. <laughs> yeah, so. 
spots are better than others. Yeah, yeah. that's. Let me thought like down by the main parking lot would be a bit. I just, yeah, yeah, that's too. Yeah. Yeah. That's in your face too much. But that's where everybody parks, so. Well, I'm concerned about well again, you can the sign. If you put it up at a handicapped parking spot, I feel like that's pretty. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, you walk because you walk. Even if you park, but yeah. the lower one, you tend to walk up. In the trail, you to walk by and see it. But part of the problem, or the, one of the biggest parts of the problem, probably is the people right across the street, like Bill Terry, and uh, you know that's where the people are going into their hedge. Mm-hmm. Um, right. And so, but you can solve that. You can still put it where we're talking about. You just have again the signs, public restroom. Yeah. You know, and that solves that problem. And you don't have to put it right there next yeah. to that park. I would park. ask that it's not like that the devouring sign up to look out there. Yeah. Window yeah. in their kitchen and see it. I think that would be That's fair. Fair game. Or see people going in and out of it. I think it's still it should be someplace sort of neutral towards the use. Just to get in a box. Yeah, I don't know ultimately like we can, where it'll be. But we can recommend that yeah. it's more in the middle, I guess. I'm sure if we put it in the wrong spot, we'll hear. Well, I guess it goes in any spot right here. Yeah, they'll yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably tell us we can't put it in the right of way of the, of the road. Yeah. Just where it yeah. would be. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. That but wasn't that 13 foot right away. You can park there. So if you can park there, you should be able to put something there. But Yeah, that's true. So uh, so on a side note, does anyone know what that construction was they were digging in the road? I think they put a culvert. Oh, those are just culverts. I think so. That's where it collapsed this mm. summer, I think. Or spring. Mm. Which spot, Mark? When was the summer? Uh, just before uh, the height of land as you go up to the falls. There's there's some, right next to the castle. They marked it off. Yeah, there's still some flagging. I guess I didn't. I was just kind of guessing. I was just kind of guessing. I guess I don't like it. Because it's been flagged for like four or five days. Interesting. Just a cut off culvert. I was just yeah. kind of guessing based on where it was and the, you know, the size and length of it. I mean, the whole part of the road is kind of undermined. Yeah, that's, that's a, side. an engineering marvel. <laughs> <laughs> that it's still there oh, so is they cut off the trees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else? Grazing. Uh, Grazing is still uh, back there. <laughs> I have nothing to go with. Yes, I went out to cut the tree a uh, couple months back. Yeah? On the, on the mystery house? Yeah, and it's gone. Okay. Well, one okay. well, of well, 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 the trees is gone, and then someone yeah. sort of created a path around the other one, and I yeah. picked one side and said, well, we'll go this way. Well, and then someone came back and cleared the other side, so you know, there's two ways around the first tree down. Oh, but I haven't been back there in years. I guess it does. We should all Google. Mm-hmm. Uh, I go back there. back there. I go back there. I go back there. Yeah. That's a whole book of it. Is. We yeah. talked about it all about making sure it was mowed through that trail. I don't know. It was recently mowed. Awesome. Yeah. 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 All right. So we're off to that to adjourn. Mm-hmm. Great. Good. Thanks. Have you seconded the motion yet? Second. Motion seconded. All in favor? All in favor. All in we, can you guys try to get the addresses okay. for your properties? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. You can send them to I me. Mine is in Oregon. But I imagine it would be in there anyway. I don't think it's Yeah. I could stand next to it. You can just give them to me personally, so. Yeah. 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 I can stand next to it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.